The view from the Kennedy Space Center. Three, two, one. Mission. And liftoff. Once liftoff, Artemis 1 will push its Orion capsule toward the moon, going on a three-week orbit before returning and splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's said to be NASA's most ambitious moonshot since the Apollo era. It's pretty interesting, yeah, it's like a, you know, a big event. It's, you know, like I said, it's one of the biggest rockets they've ever launched, so it'd be pretty fascinating to see. Mike Zeobro is a lead forecaster with the National Weather Service in Guam. He recalls the Apollo mission and watching it from his Massachusetts home with family when he was only 10 years old. I followed it uh, pretty religiously. The blast off was pretty interesting, and then, you know, because uh, I was I'm from the East Coast, so it was at, late at night when they went on the moon, and that was pretty interesting. And, you know, you saw them going on the moon, and uh, it was just, you know, and, uh, pretty fascinating. I wish we could see something with that, but uh, listening to that, the astronaut guy, it sounds like they go uh, at the same almost uh, latitude as when they launch, which would be north of us. And uh, I don't know if you'd see anything. The Artemis mission this time around will be crewless. The first part of the groundbreaking mission is important for the crew's scheduled flight in 2024, followed by a moon landing later this decade. The launch today is a moment that takes Zeobro back to his childhood. That does feel like, I guess, a special day like that. And, uh, but uh, like I said, I always watch uh, every, uh, even the more mundane SpaceX launches, the, the, when they launch their little uh, uh, Falcon 9, I still think that's exciting because, uh, uh, you know, it's just something to see them count down and the thing going off. As for the question, if Guam and the Marianas would be able to see any signs of the launch in space? If you're lucky and you see something, I mean, you might be, but, uh, you know, I don't know what time that would be. It doesn't hurt to keep looking up, although I think we got rain in the forecast for tonight, so might have to look through some holes in the clouds yeah. if, if you're lucky.